up a gym right after We got off the phone, yeah We just reconnected Been a while since we spoke You tell me that it's been destined But the uncertainty, baby It made you shy away Now you're not saying I won't make it What you trying to say Happy Thursday, everybody Hope you're doing great um, Productive morning Dropped my son off at an early morning uh, uh, Youth seminary And then uh, drove here to to the office um, we're going to be giving a presentation from 8 to 9 30 uh, to our newer advisors on uh, on some of our products and services that we offer and then um, let's see after that have a 10 o'clock meeting up in spring with the business so we can be of value to them uh, second one uh, th third one is then I have a one o'clock and a two o'clock uh, no, sorry, 2 o'clock, then at 3 o'clock. So it should be a productive day. should be able to get out later on this afternoon for a nice long run as well. So hope you're doing great. Let's go. Hey there, IG. Stories. Usually uh, get to the office around 6 um, or 7. Got to get things done. Got a busy day. Let's go. All right, everybody. <clears throat> Got a lot of stuff done this morning. Getting out, uh, responding to... Bunch of emails. I'm gonna be getting on here on a uh, training call for our new advisors on uh, a few few different products. So we're gonna go over that. Um, and so I thought I would just show you. Um, so it starts at eight. It's seven forty right now. Um, so at around seven fifteen. So about forty five minutes before, about an hour before, I start looking through the slides, making sure that everything looks accurate. Just I, I want to give myself enough time to be able to make sure if I need to make some tweaks. I need to find some, um, you know, more relevant da data. And so good thing that I did. So the last uh, slide that had data in there was from uh, twenty seventeen. So. Obviously, that was three years ago, so I want to be able to make sure that the, the slides are still relevant. Um, and then and then I want to update some of the contact information of the people that are there. And now, it uh, so at around 7.45, it starts at 8. I'm going to then log into the, the webinar, so that way I'll be on mute, but then the, the, the camera will be on so they know that I'm here. Even though I'm not sitting in front of the camera, they at least know that I'm going to uh, be here um, ready to go. And so um, I, I encourage anybody, we had a snafu on Monday uh, where, again, he's, he's logging in at 8 o'clock. It starts at 8, and um, next thing you know, he's having technical difficulties. Like, it, it, I don't know, maybe it's not always it's going to happen like that, but it just seems like if you're running a little bit behind and all of a sudden you're trying to kind of squeeze it out, all of a sudden, that's when technical difficulties uh, incur, and so I uh, didn't really get it started until about 12 or 15 after uh, 8 o'clock. So if you're a participant, you're sitting there going, this is a total waste of my time. You know, Even though you have it blocked off for your, for your day, 8 to 9.30, for whatever reason, because it starts late, um, number one, it puts the presenter off, and number two, it puts all the participants off just because now they're sitting there waiting. So uh, just a little bit of a tidbit of advice as uh, you're, you're presenting. Also know your material. If you end up reading the slide, you probably don't know the material that well. So definitely have a dry run, have a practice of it before you go through, go through all the different slides, see what you want to add in, uh, maybe what questions are, are coming to mind. So um, hopefully that's helpful. Let's keep rolling everybody. Oh yeah, and another tip. If you have, um, you're sharing your screen, then close email. Email, sometimes they have a tendency to have a little pop-up notification. And so if you're presenting and all of a sudden you have these pop-ups coming up, number one, people are scanning and reading those. We can read those literally in a second, right? Because it's like the, the subject and the first few, few sentences. So uh, turn off the email and that way you're fully engaged with what's going on and you're not distracting people with, uh, with other things that are going on. Oh, other thing that I do, I do uh, when I go into LinkedIn, I see if there's anyone that wants to connect. And if they do, send them a quick message. Uh, thanks for thank them for connecting and then I like to go through notifications and see if there's anything going on particularly if there's birthdays I'll wish people a happy birthday via LinkedIn and also people had some job changes promotions I want to be able to congratulate them on that one just uh, another way to stay engaged and and then um, so like here, right here say congratulations there's these four people that had um, some different um, promotions or changes so I wanted to say congratulations to them all so usually I'll just say I'll just grab the it automatically says based on my my vernacular congrats on the new role uh, and then I'll just put the person's name in there so they know that I'm personalizing it and not just using the carbon copy response 
Um, so it's just a tiny little uh, slight difference. Um, um, and then I know this person went to a new company. There we go. Uh, so congrats on the new company, um, Lindy. Congrats on uh, the new role, um, Leicester. We all have different names, don't we? All right, keep rolling. All right, everybody, uh, productive morning uh, on the presentation. Thought it went well, had some good questions, some good engagement, and now heading off to um, up in Springs, about 40 minutes away for an appointment. Let's go. Hey, there, everybody, every th happy Thursday. I'm reminded that sometimes it's best to just when opportunities arise to say yes and to figure out the small details. So uh, I'll give you the context. It reminds me of the person that's stranded on a, on a rooftop. It's a flood. The water keeps rising and rising. Um, he's praying to God, says, hey, I need help. Please, please help me. Uh, a boat comes by. He says, hey, can I help you? He says, no, don't worry. I, I got God. I prayed. Um, next one comes by. Uh, it's this time. It's a helicopter. They're, hey, I can help you. Oh, don't worry. I prayed to God. He's going to help me. Person drowns goes to heaven goes God why didn't you help me dude I sent a boat and a helicopter what more did you want from me when opportunity rises we must say yes and figure out how it can make sense Sherm's out hey everybody here at Mr. Appliance for ribbon cutting here in I don't know what part of Houston I'm in galleria -ish area so let's go inside welcome these wonderful people I already know them But I do this cause I live like I'ma die today Passionate about it, you gotta have it a doubting I gotta have it of working and earning it I am out in the city of angels I know that they looking out for me This is my testimony for all of y'all that been doubting me The evidence is evident Music is my medicine, my testament Meant to be, be true to you A legend in the making Make the best of every moment Cause nothing lasts forever But forever I'll be focused Focus on the now, now, now